Hi, good morning. I hope you're having a wonderful President's Day. I just wanted to stop by just to share some observations with you and to remind you of what we're doing here in week two. First, I want you to know that as I go through the threads, I see that you're really, really making an effort to post substantive materials to the threads. I enjoy the reading and the discussions. Thank you. For your first assignment, most of you did very, very well. I was very impressed. You took the material, you did your summary as requested, and in addition, you added appropriate examples supporting the points that you made in your summary. And that is the kind of work that I'm expecting throughout the semester. Thank you guys on a job well done. Week, two op week three opened last Thursday. Um, actually, last Thursday at midnight into Friday morning about 12 a.m. I see that most of you have already posted your first, first post before Sunday. And again, I thank you. There's some of you that still have not made your first post. And I just wanted to remind you, based on the grading rubric, that if you neglect to post your first post in the discussion by Sunday at midnight, you will automatically lose 20 points. All right? Again, guys, please refer to the grading rubric for the online discussions. Now, this week, um, you guys have the lecture notes on Blackboard that um, you had to review. In addition to that, of course, there's a discussion where most of us have so far jumped in and have engaged in the discussions. And if you haven't done your second post yet, may I urge you to do it and not wait until the ninth hour. There's a lot of things that happen at the ninth hour. Computers break. We lose internet service. Blackboard has a problem. So I strongly encourage that if you have assignments to do, or if you have deadlines, to make sure that you're not doing things, that you're not leaving things for the ninth hour. And it's for this reason why the class is structured so that you have a full seven days that you can make use of early submissions, all right? Um, we're looking at research in the real world, ethnographic research, which was the focus of, which is the focus of our, um, of our online discussion this week. And you have a written assignment based on research. Now for your written assignment, again, I need you to pay close attention to the grading rubric. You are going to explain the advantages and the disadvantages of documentary research. Guys, Please don't jump on the internet and try to cut and paste. That is why there's Turnitin. Turnitin actually tells me where you got your information from and how much of that information you used. If you have a certain percentage um, of material that, we, that you've used from other sources to which you have not noted where you got your material from, Turnitin then notifies me and your paper will receive a failing grade. All right, guys, just to let you know. Again, thanks again for a wonderful week two and um, for all the work that you're doing now in week three. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.